boys welcome back to another video today we're talking about the latest nets news and injury report so if you look at kevin durant he's actually ruled out tonight and the reason being is he's not exactly feeling 100 percent it's a monday they play on wednesday so another two days of rest seems ideal the nets are still being competitive they just took the bulls really down to the wire on a horrendous shooting night Kyrie irving himself was off took 27 shots obviously shot under 50 percent just it wasn't the greatest game but i will say we're going to get into later in the video just some some things that the nets need to address but we'll save that for the end but just for the injury report um it's pretty simple blake griffin obviously with that knee injury and maintenance he's not playing in a back-to-back -back. He, he won't all year landry shamet has an ankle injury he's been ruled out tyler johnson that knee injury that he suffered against the bulls yesterday has been ruled out james harden is not listed on the injury report so he's going to return man now Harden is competing for an MVP. We understand that he doesn't care about it. He wants to win a championship, and going for the MVP is the least of Harden's concerns, but he loves to play basketball. James Harden doesn't take many nights off, so the fact that he's go going tonight means that he's ready to go. It doesn't mean that he's 50-50. Like, no, he's ready to go, man. You're going to expect the James Harden that you've been seeing all season. Now, keep in mind that the Nets are actually 8-9 and nine this season without James Harden, and when he plays, they're very good, to say the least. I mean, they're the number one seed in the East, so... You obviously look at the Houston Rockets, who have struggled. They're tanking for a number one, the number one pick in the draft. I mean, not guaranteed it, but they are tanking. So it just goes to show that James Harden is the most valuable player. I mean, again, if you put James Harden on the Denver Nuggets and Jokic on the Nets, do the Nets get better? The answer is no, they really don't. I'm not saying they'd be significantly worse, but they would be worse. So that's just the James Harden effect. The dude is a top five player in the league. I mean, the only guys that I think are, are actually the only guy that I think is better than James Harden actually is on his own team, and that's Kevin Durant, who is basically a seven-foot James Harden, has a handle that can shoot the basketball that's super efficient. I mean, KD shooting over 50% this season, over 40 from three, uh, not quite at 90% from the free throw line, but I mean, Kevin Durant, when he was 21, was averaging 28 a game. I mean, Kevin Durant is the most gifted scorer that this league has ever seen, and talent-wise, is a top 10 player. I mean, let's be real here, dude. So, again, though, uh, moving on, like I said, I was going to mention a couple of other things. So, takeaways from the Bulls game, it's pretty simple. The Nets need to go ahead and give Nicholas Claxton more minutes. LaMarcus Aldridge only had three rebounds, man. The reason that he's starting is because he's 6'11", 260 pounds, and is very versatile. So, when he came into the starting lineup, he was expected to switch on the pick and roll game, get rebounds, and play some pretty good defense. But... Um, I mean, it's not the biggest sample size. He was going up against an all-star center. The Nets were sh extremely short-handed, so we can't hold them for that one game. But that's where Steve Nass needs to make adjustments and play Claxton more than just eight minutes. I mean, that made no sense because Claxton, although has his um, has some faults of his own, but he's certainly a good defender and is not so soft at all. He's very assertive. So I think Claxton in games like that needs to be implemented in more. And this is coming from a LaMarcus Aldridge fantasy owner. I mean, I don't even care. I want the Nets to win. So Claxton needs to see more minutes against the teams like the Bulls, against teams like the Heat, the Celtics. So expect that moving forward, or at least I hope to expect it moving forward. Another thing is, how about really no playmakers? I mean, Kyrie Irving was expected to do everything. The ball was through his hands the entire game. Look at the rest of the, the Nets roster. I mean, they don't have a backup ball handler, man. Like, even a guy like Corey Joseph or a guy like, hell, DJ Augustine, someone of that caliber would significantly help this Nets team, especially when you have guys not playing in back-to-backs, when you have guys that are hurt and guys that are not available. I mean, why would you not go out and get another point guard? Even if the Nets were at full strength, James Harden and Kyrie Irving can't be on the ball for 48 minutes. It's, it's just not going to work. They're going to be absolutely gassed by the end of the playoffs. I mean, you go up against the in the finals against LeBron James and Anthony Davis and Andre Drummond, you better be ready to go. And these guys are going to be really exhausted, especially because Kyrie and James Harden are playing 40 minutes a night in the regular season and are expected to carry this Nets team. So... Another reason why Harden should be the MVP, I mean, his usage is crazy because it has to be. So let me know your guys' thoughts down below. How do you feel about another point guard? How about Avery Bradley, uh, another Houston Rocket guard? I think Avery Bradley's a possibility, but I haven't heard anything saying that he's getting bought out. And even if he was bought out, I don't know if he would consider the Nets. I mean, all those guys would probably go to the Lakers. I mean, let's be real. It's LA with LeBron James. So, and they'd be given more playing time because if you come to the Nets, you're coming off the bench and probably at most seeing 20 minutes. So um, if I was a veteran, I, I mean, yeah, I'd love a championship, but I'd also want to play and be given a bigger role that's why Drummond went to the Lakers and not the Nets because if he was with the Nets his usage wouldn't be that great his stats wouldn't be that great but again he'd be playing winning basketball so it goes both ways but again yeah I will say those those are the two um, takeaways from the Bulls game it was just an off night you can't take much away from it so um, again man 
Uh, tonight against the Knicks, it's, it's going to be a pretty good test because you have Kyrie and James Harden playing without Kevin Durant. So um, we know the Knicks always are competitive, man. They're going to give it their all. They've got a pretty good starting lineup. They're the best defensive team in the league. Tom Thibodeau has done an excellent job with them. Julius Randle looks like a star in this league. I mean, obviously it was an all-star, but there's just something different about Julius Randle, man. He has some nights that are just absolutely absurd. So we'll see what happens, man. Um, it's in Brooklyn, so it's in, of course, uh the Barkley Center. It's it's going to be a really good game, man. Um, I can't wait to stream it tonight. I will be live uh, 7 uh, p.m. The game is 7. Yeah, the game is 7. So I'll be live about 7.05 p.m. Uh, again, guys, I just made a purchase. I have this big Brooklyn Nets fat head that I'm going to put behind my wall. So when I stream, it's going to be a white wall and then the Nets logo. Can't wait for that. I definitely want to get some more Nets merch. Um, I want to cop a Durant jersey for sure, bro. The, one of those, um, the gray one, the alternate jerseys. Those, those are, I want to cop that for sure. But uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's going to be fun. Like, I can't wait to cover this team moving forward, man. Everyone's doubting them. They're doubting the defense. They're doubting the health, the chemistry. They're doubting the future, man. And those people will be proved wrong because I don't see this team ever slowing down. I mean, James Harden, yes, he's 31. Kyrie Irving's 29. But again, these guys, they, they take extremely good care of themselves, man. They love basketball. So, like, guys, five, six years from now, the Nets will still be competing for championships. They'll have Nicholas Claxton in his prime. Obviously, the buyout market will always be big for the Nets because they're always going to be a good team. And hell, even free agents are going to want to come to the Nets, man. They've got Spencer Dinwiddie that they might bring back. They've got Joe Harris, of course, who's balling. So, yeah, the Nets definitely, um, they, they completely finessed the Rockets, if I'm being real. They, I mean, that's not, they didn't necessarily, like, they didn't necessarily finesse the Rockets, but the Rockets kind of finessed themselves because if you think about it, they traded Levert. They took a first round pick from Milwaukee over Jared Allen. And although it does make sense that Jared Allen is about to be overpaid, but I'd rather have Jared Allen on the Rockets right now than no Jared Allen at all. So yeah, I'm not completely sold on the Rockets. I don't think those Nets picks will be worth anything. Pretty certain they won't. I mean, it would take absolutely miracle. It would take like Kyrie to retire and then everyone to leave, which what is the odds of that happening? Not very high. I mean, Kyrie probably will retire at 35. Let's be real. He's not going to retire in like a year. He could, but he probably won't. And then again, the top four pick, the Rockets do not even have a top four. Uh, they don't even have their pick. I mean, the Thunder own it. It has to be in the top four for them to attain it. Now, again, James Harden effect, man. Look what teams are doing without him. The Nets are 8-9. They're literally under 500. And again, it's the Eastern Conference, but the Nets are still struggling. Look at the Rockets without James Harden. They've been absolutely abysmal. They really have. Yeah, they've been decimated by injuries, but even since everyone's come back, I mean, John Wall's been playing really the whole season. He's missed games, but Christian Wood's been back. They're still losing. So it just goes to show that James Harden should be receiving MVP votes. If you're going to hold his him forcing out of Houston, then why don't you hold when he's not on the court for the Nets, or why don't you hold the Rockets how they've looked without him? So, hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. It's your boy Swaggy Man. Again, uh, I'll see you guys tonight for the game. If you want to come by and chill, I do this watch party where I put ESPN scoreboard and the box score up, and then I put my face cam on the side. So, should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you later.